to f shit. They said it's the length of a relationship halved. Halved? Hmm. To get over it. The length of a relationship halved, which for you, well, it, it really isn't that long now, is it? Well, not everything has a half-life, does it? <sighs> she thinks she's inside the most profound love story ever told. Like, she doesn't even recognise that she's in an abusive situation. She just thinks other people don't get it. It's part of the trap. It's the glue trap. Ugh. Peter. Even after death, he's still Peter? violating this fucking room. Oh, fuck this guy. What if we still did it? Then what? Went to America. I know, just... I can't leave play. Hmm. I can't get past the end of the drive. Okay. The moment I reach the edge of the property, I'm right back here. Good. I'm right there and I can't even touch you. Let's go get Whoopi Goldberg. What a crock of shit. Who is that? You're right here and I can hear you and I can see you. Quiet, Bex. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's in her! Peter? Who the hell? Where, where, where was I? What? All of a sudden, I, I was somewhere else. What's that noise? Is that his fucking mother again? Oh god. Back. I have to go back. I have to go back. I have to go back. Wait. Pause. So it looks like when other people, when Hannah Dream hops, she was going around, she was seeing Owen, she was seeing all of these different things going on. And the kids are seeing like their parents and all sorts. But Peter seems to just be seeing one thing. I don't know if that's just like this particular episode or if that's all. But if that's all, that's kind of a glorious punishment on that piece of shit. Because that mother is a real bitch. Play. Hey, you look better of late. Did you speak to Henry? Henry? About working for him in London, like we talked about. That's Peter, isn't it? Well, what did he say? Just that he'll consider. Is he going to walk her into the fire? Twat. He owes it to you. You okay? It's not real. Yeah. He's not there. Fuck. God. If he walks her into that fucking lake, I swear to God I'm gonna lose it. Okay. He's just trying to get out. It didn't work. <laughs> I don't think I like where this is going. I hate him. Look at her. It's like her whole world is narrowed just to Peter. Nothing else matters anymore. I hate it. She's just completely fucking consumed by this piece of shit. Oh, fuck off! Where the hell have you been? Because I have a plan. I plan that I'll let us be together again. And touch each other and, and, and taste each other. I've got a bad, bad feeling right now. For us to be truly together, fully together. How? Don't fucking... It would be the two of us sharing a life. I don't understand, but how? It's up to you. 
because you didn't invite me in. You just oh, need no. to decide that it's forever permanent. I, I, I think it's just you and me that are coming to us. Oh, don't fucking sign your life over to this pr You'll take care of me, yes? He of course. Mm. We'll be together. We'll share it all, everything equals. I promise. I love you, Bex. No, you don't. No, you don't. You would never fucking do this if you did. It's you. It's me. It's us. <sighs> Blue eye. Uh, yes. Is this where he's? Is she tucked away at the moment? Because he's. Peter. He had promised they'd be equals, and he was here, alone, and he had spent too much of his life alone. It's our specs. So he didn't have to be alone. You piece of shit. You can fucking cry, you sad fuck. time I think Peter uses that. Look at Henry the said this was yours. You're not tucked away. You're dead. No. Not this one, not this one. Let me show you how beautiful you are. I know. I know. Because you hid. You 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 hid from me off after the lake. You you hid in that and I just keep coming back here. Let me show you how beautiful you are. After the water came into my lungs, you so just left. beautiful. You just left me to do it alone. I... Oh. This isn't what you said. It's not what I agreed. I... He's like... A fucking physical human beautiful. incarnation of the fucking Red Room. Oh, Jesus. You fucking liar! You I, fucking liar! I, I, I had to. No. I'm sorry, but I had to. <laughs> and you'll have to, too. How dare you? What? Look, you'll understand. Why would she have to? But when you when you meet the others, when you see what happens to us, you'll get to Wait. Wait. No, I, 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 I know, I know. Pause. Wait. Is
Is he all about the melting faces? Because we saw the little kid ghost melted face. The woman, <clears throat> the lady in the lake, melted face. These two don't have melted faces. So what would make your face melt? Because it's in the opening credits as well, I'm just thinking, people's faces. It's gotta be time. Because if we assume the lady in the lake is Vio Lloyd, that's 400 years. Maybe, I'm trying to think like what, I don't think it's just like time per se. I think it's like something that happens with time, either people forgetting you, you forgetting yourself, but you, your face goes. So he's trying to prevent that happening to them somehow. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. Otherwise, I wouldn't be watching the scene. I'd just be going, oh, I think you might be right. But play. Oh, they're so weird. So they've got to get out before their faces melt. Oh, this bitch. Bex, the kids, they get to hop around into the warmest little memories, the nicest little moments. And I always end up here. Is that so bad? It's hell. Well, you deserve it, you prick. Could I am worse? I mean, I could be back there at home with Dad. I didn't understand what was happening to me. I knew you were there. You were there to tell me that it was okay. This bitch. I didn't know any better. Well, I know better, don't I? This time, seeing you in that fucking doorway. I thought about every kid that ever spent the night. And how you knew what you knew, and you didn't stop him. I hope you know that late at night that you killed your own son. Honey, I don't even know that you're dead. I, oh. I, I was straight. Middle. Oh, shit. The minute I'm gone, I'm spinning these kids up. Taking advantage of their good intentions. That's you! Shameful. That's what you're doing! Oh, you're supposed to warn me. How long was I? Oh, you rock. I'm sorry. We have to finish it now. No, no, but it's too soon. No, it's right. It's right. A little longer. We, we should give them a little longer. What out of time? What? What are you talking about? The forever house. That's right. The forever is. What? Well, that's not what? This time. That special present that will let Miss Jessel and I. Win. And it's going to save us. It's going to save us from. Well, you know what? Peter. No. Maybe we can wait until. Don't do this. Wait, what? Until we fade away? Until we look. Like this? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fix this. Don't let that happen to us, do you? To Miss Jessel, to me? No, no, of course not. Because this is what happens. <laughs> that... This is. I'm sorry, I can't even speak. I just. I can't. You both can save us. If they do this, they're fucking evil. Miss Jessel, do you promise this is a good idea? Flora. I... Come on! Think about you and me, and then think us as hard as you can. Don't. Just think. 
will be tucked away with mummy and daddy. That's right. Be with mummy and daddy, and they won't fade. You're right. That won't happen to them. Nothing sad will ever touch you ever again. Nothing good will either, you piece of shit! You just. That makes you the luckiest man in the world. So, how about it, me? Your scum. Go on, be a good lad. Look at his little face. It's you. It's me. It's us. Fuck off. Oh! Don't you fucking dare. Me. He's just a little dick on the house, isn't he? <sighs> Way at the bottom. Just keep it quiet and I'll do it myself. So now they're just gonna fucking no! kill everybody else. <laughs> Hannah, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, fuck you. It's gonna try and kill you. I don't know how. Walking around, day to day, cleaning up and dreaming up new clothes. Carrying on like nothing happened. Uh... I thought you were just stubborn. Why Lake Coyote? Remember those? It would happen all the time. You'd run off a cliff. Run straight off it. And you'd keep on going. That's you. That's who you remind me of, Hannah. This prick. You just went off that cliff. When Wiley E. Coyote looked down, then he'd fall. Only when he looked down. He's gonna you shower. just need to look down, Hannah. Ah, you son of a bitch. Then you can stop this charade. I don't want to see this. You need to look down. Don't! You. My skills in Paris, I was a sous chef. Straight to Owen. Lars is gone. And Flora might be too. And there's nothing, nothing I can do about it because. Because I'm dead. <sighs> fucking is. There is something you can do, I'm fucking certain of it. How did I do? You did very well. Oh, thank fuck! Untie her, Flora, quickly. Oh. And I thought you needed my help. No, Flora. No one should ever need that much help. Not from anyone else. Thank you! Miles? <sighs> You get her as far away from this house as you possibly can. Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, did tell. Get out of this fucking house. Where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere. Shh. Anywhere. No! I don't like this game! Flora, for I fuck's sake! Flora! And you can't make me! Miles! We gotta go! Miles, where are you? Ah! Oh, fuck off! I am absolutely fucking done with Peter fucking Quint. Gosh dang it! I am so mad right now! I can't believe, like, I don't know if I said it out loud or if I just thought it, but when he got Rebecca to basically give him her body, to tr entrust him with her life, which he then took. 
by promising her. It was like he was promising her everything she'd ever wanted, but with a catch. That's the catch. By the way, you're dead. I'm actually going to kill you. And I thought to myself, I think I said it, he's like a human incarnation of the Red Room from Hill House. Like, keeps you distracted with fantasy while just devouring you, completely consuming you, until you are trapped permanently. But he's just fucking up the ante here because it wasn't just Rebecca that he... It was bad enough. What he did to Rebecca was bad enough. If, if that was the only thing that had happened this episode, I would have been destroyed. Just that on its own. That was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Like, it's so sad. It's like... It's not even just a boo-hoo sad, like, oh, I'm going to cry sad. It's like my soul hurts watching this play out because it is so... It's such a violation of trust on every possible level. And... Oh. So that was bad enough. And then to watch her realise it and he fucks off. He fucks off. He doesn't have the balls, actually, to suffocate, have that experience himself. Oh, no. He fucks off and leaves her to... In the moment that it's too late, when she can no longer save herself, then she, she is forced to experience her own death. He didn't even shield her from that. Piece of shit. So I don't know what has been happening since that happened because we saw her come to the realisation that she wasn't then tucked in a memory anymore. She was dead and with him. And she was furious. And she felt every freaking piece of that betrayal. You could see it working itself through her as she realised what, what... I mean, it was like the moment... Mrs. Gross, the moment Hannah has been speaking about before, about the moment she realises she's in the glue trap, it'll be too late. Like, we've now had to live through that moment with her that she realises she's in the glue trap and she is never getting out. So I don't know whether she was just kind of bumbling along with him for the meantime because she thought maybe she could get out and be free from him because I can't see how after that she would want to be with her I was getting anger and anger and anger of like what is it gonna fucking take Rebecca I'm not happy I need there to be some future for Miles I think that is terrible if Miles has been sacrificed for this I am devastated for him devastated because that child did not deserve any of this. But it looks like the change now is the change. He is given permission. Again, red room. False pretenses. He... And Peter is now in him. So... I'm guessing they still can't leave Bly, but maybe he can, maybe they can leave Bly. Maybe because he's like fully in miles now, he can leave the property. I, I'm gonna need clarification on that. But either way, the plan is, I guess, to just grow and live in their bodies. Making sure that nobody living, or dead, well, dead matters less, but certainly nobody living, finds out 
because then they're at risk of being rumbled. So it's just such a violation, though. Like, thieves, he's stolen his life. Like, he's actually stolen Miles' life. Not, it's not enough that he fucked his own life up and fucked Rebecca's life up. No, Miles. And, and, and if it wasn't for Rebecca, Flora would now be gone too. Thank God, Rebecca. Thank God she's found some strength to be able to But, I mean, Danny's now, what, now is Danny dead? Now Danny's been choked out by the fucking Lady of the Lake. Uh, so she's getting dragged in. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm not sure Danny... <sighs> Owen doesn't know. Jamie doesn't know. She's off the property. If she comes back and fucking Danny's floating in the lake, she's going to be none the wiser. None the wiser. Like, what could she guess would have happened? Like, she doesn't know anybody's a ghost. She is completely blind to all of this stuff. They could get away with this. Except for fucking Hannah Gross. I know she's just said to Owen, like, well, not really Owen, but the, the Owen that she has in her head as her constant is like she said so like and there's nothing I can do about it because I'm dead so I think she really now really does her denial now has been fully pierced by this I think she was still clinging on because she clearly goes back to Owen when she starts to have a bit of cognitive dissonance about stuff. But this time, you know, it wasn't your Hannah Gross is 1987, Miles is 10, Flora is 8. It's, I can't, Miles is gone. Flora might be too. And there's nothing I can do about it because I'm dead. So I think she's awake. I think she's properly present now. She understands what's going on. But I I want her to somehow kill Peter. Kill dead Peter. Kill fucking Miles Peter. Whatever it is. She has to... I believe Hannah has to stop this. I think she might be the only one who can. With the exception of Rebecca. Or maybe the lady in the lake. But she doesn't seem to be team fucking anyone. Man. I'm sure she's trying to scan my brain around to figure out if there's anything else I need to talk about. I don't think so. But to be honest, I'm quite fucked up by this episode. So I, I can't tell you right now. But, you know. This is a phenomenal story that we're being told here. It is painful as shit. But what a story. Wow. Okay. Right then. Until the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>